Good morning, prayer partners. I hope you're having a blessed day. Isn't this a gorgeous spring, May day? These clouds are ridiculous. These clouds are so beautiful and they just remind us that behold, he is coming in the clouds. Behold, he is coming quickly. I cannot wait. I'm so over this planet earth, ready to be with Jesus forever and ever and ever. On um, Instagram the other day, Greg Laurie had posted a question and he said, what are you looking for forward to when you get to heaven? I just put Jesus, just seeing Jesus. That's what I'm looking forward to most. And I'm sure you all would agree. Um, I wanted to share my heart for a moment before we, we join in prayer together. And that's, um, I always remember from Calvary Chapel Chino Valley Women's Intercessory Prayer Days, Robin Blank, our beautiful sister in Christ, she would always say, pray God's word and use God's word as the kindling or the fodder for your prayers. So we all have been, you know, at the beach or camping or even in your backyard making s'mores. And when you build a campfire, um, you have to put that dry kindling or, you know, um, the spark. You need that, that dry um fodder or kindling to start that fire or it just goes out we've all been there you have big old logs and you start you click you know the fire try to get it going and it doesn't quite get going and it goes out but when you put that dry um you know piece of uh you know grass or br uh, branches the dry stuff the good stuff put that underneath and then you um can light the fire campfire or you can use lighter fluid you know and that works too so that's what god's word is to our prayers it's that kindling it's that dry stuff that you need so the fire can catch so yesterday i looked in my email and i had this awesome email and it said praying the bible that's the name of this little ebook praying the bible and it said answer a few questions and we'll email you this book free from Crossway Books or something like that. And I was like, awesome. Oh my goodness, yes. I have a book by Beth Moore. It's called Praying God's Word. And I'm all about it. So I thought, wow, this sounds really good. Praying the Bible, love it. So I went ahead and, and um, downloaded it. Oh, I think I'm in the wrong lane. Yes, I am. Oh no. And so I um, clicked on it and started reading it. And boy, is it so good. And basically what the book is saying is that we are to um, pray God's word, pray through the Psalms. And I'm sure you guys have heard that before, but it was so rich and encouraging to know that we can pray through God's word. And that's exactly what gets us going. Because, you know, when we, when we pray, we sometimes stumble. You know, we're not quite sure what to pray or we start praying and we get off track. And that's what this book was saying, that our mind wanders. If you feel like your mind wanders in your prayers, don't feel guilty. You're not alone. But when you pray through the Psalms, you're praying God's heart. You're praying his inspired word back to him. Love it. Love it. Love it. So um, I'm going to do it. You know, I want to um, pray God's word back to him. And I do that in the morning when I read my one year Bible. But I think that um, to be a little bit more intentional, that you're not just reading the Bible to follow a reading plan, which is super important. But we're also going to pray through the scriptures, pray through the Psalms, pray through anything that you're reading and use that to be the prayer prompts. You know, I, I hope that makes sense. Um, deeply encourage me. I pray and encourages you. And I'm just so thankful for the word of God because it's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Lord Jesus, I made a wrong turn this morning. I am on the wrong uh, freeway off ramp and that's okay because Lord, just like in life, you we go on detours, Lord. We are expecting to go one way and, and something will detour us and take us another way, Lord. But I thank you that you planted my heart exactly where I needed to be in reading that praying through the Bible ebook. What a refreshment it was to my heart to know that I don't have to know how to pray. I can go to the book of the Bible that tells us to pray the Psalms. The Psalms are songs and the Psalms are prayers. And it's exactly what we need for the day. Your word, your word and your songs. And so Lord, I want to pray your heart. I want to read 
the Bible and I want to pray it back to you, Lord. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So as I read your word, would you light up the dark places? Would you teach me how to pray? Would you teach me, Lord, the wonders of your law? Would you open my eyes to see wonders of from your law, God? Would you help me, Lord? You make the crooked path straight. Teach us, Lord. Teach us. The days are dark. But just as I read in John's gospel, you said, I am the light of the world. And so I can trust you, light. Jesus, you are the light, the light of the world. The, the, the days are dark, but your Holy Spirit is that light. Help us, God, to keep our oil lamps full, to keep the wicks trimmed, to pray your heart, dear God. I want to pray your heart. I don't want to pray Laura's will, Laura's agenda, for that's faulty. I don't have a clear picture of what the day brings. I don't have a clear picture of what tomorrow brings, but you do, Lord. For you, Jesus, are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Bless you, praise you. You are Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Bless you, praise you. You are the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We bless you, we praise you. You are everything we need and more. You you are the same. You are good. Al Olam, everlasting God. Al Al Yan, God most high. You're the strong one, Lord. You're the ancient of days. You're the just judge. You're the holy one of Israel. You are Jesus, my savior, Yeshua. We are waiting, Lord. We are watchmen on the walls, watch women on the walls, looking, waiting, anticipating your soon return, Lord. We know that you're coming again quickly, Lord. Just like I shared on Let's Talk About It, you reminded me of that precious little girl, Violet, who's now, gosh, she's grown probably 13 years old. I think she's Isaac's age, 13 or 14. And I remember in the, in the, children's ministry she used to say mama's coming mama's coming and that's what we're saying to each other jesus is coming he's coming can you hear him can you hear the footsteps i cannot wait lord jesus to see your face to worship you with the angels the holy angels holy 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 is the lord god almighty who was and is and is to come father all the things of this world will pass away all the trials all the aches and pains all the suffering all the temptations the sin the shame death decay disability divorce disease troubles that abound father financial woes um emotional woes broken friendships broken families broken things of this world they all melt away eclipsed by you jesus we're gonna see you lord behold he comes he's coming quickly you're coming quickly maranatha come soon king jesus forgive us of our sins forgive me of my sins wash me cleanse me sanitize my heart king jesus make me clean make me whiter than snow lord like that beautiful song white as snow white as snow though my sins were as scarlet lord i know that i am clean and forgiven by the power of your blood by the wonders of your love i can say that i am white as snow thank you jesus thank you for your cleansing flow forgive me of my sins forgive all of us of our sins father and just help us to keep our eyes locked with you laser focused on you king jesus laser focused on your agenda laser focused on the things that you want to do lord you're not done yet or you would have came back so there's still more things to do lord like that song says greater things have yet to come greater things still to be done in this city in the country in our hearts lord so keep our eyes laser focused with you keep our eyes locked with you lord you are the hope that the, it's the anchor of our soul lord i pray a blessing over ben corson as it's going to come this sunday to teach at calvary montclair i pray over every single pastor that is teaching your word lord teaching your word um in season and out of season lord maybe there's aches and pains i know mike your scioli he has cancer i pray for a touch from you over his body i pray for a healing over his body lord cancer is no match for you you are in control dear god i pray for tim christina wolf lord many people battling cancer father it's an ugly 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 disease and i pray for them father i pray for my little niece tishy not little she's in her 30s but to me she's always a precious young lady i pray for her like for her her stomach and her um aches and pains and the things that she's been going through god you know you see you're the god who sees Alroy. i pray for this family the carter family jesus as they lost little precious son with autism oh how it grieves my heart lord to know that that little boy he passed away at 12 years old 
Comfort that family, Lord. Please, please comfort those who are mourning, Lord. You are the balm in Gilead. Anoint our head with oil that our cup would run over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever, Lord. Be with the Carter family, Jesus. Nothing can separate us from your love. No height, no depth, no width, no breadth. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Be with that mom and that dad and that whole family. What a tragic death god it just grieves my heart be with this family in orange county who lost the little six-year-old boy senseless death horrible shooting on the 55 freeway comfort that family jesus oh this world is evil and wicked god you said to the disciples watch and pray can you not watch for an hour they couldn't they fell asleep we don't want to fall asleep in the light jesus we want to be awake we want to be ready we want to be watchful help us be watchful jesus we love you. We love you. We worship you, Jesus. There's none like you. We praise you, God. We praise you in the storm. We praise you in the mountaintops. We praise you in the valley low. We praise you and worship you. Forgive us of our sins and keep our eyes locked with you. For we know you're coming again. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Sorry if, if this um, prayer time was shaky. I made a wrong turn, but I know that God must have wanted to be so. Maybe he protected me from going the wrong way. Love you ladies and brothers and sisters in Christ. And just keep your eyes focused on Jesus. It's getting dark, but the light is coming. The light of the dawn will break through. We worship you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. And bless you guys today. God bless you.